All right, next A2 Ylang Ylang Oil Spotlight Oil we are talking about is the Seed Coriander. Now, one of the reasons that we started doing these A2 Ylang Ylang is because in our oil community, the Essentially Blessed community, we have um, a program, Oil Camp, which walks through the 10 most commonly used oils, but there are a ton of oils that have a lot of benefit. And there are a lot of ones like coriander that um, people aren't talking about so much. Like, I, I don't think I've ever heard anybody say, oh, just rub a little coriander on that. Um, which could. Which could. Uh, <laughs> and you will, hopefully, after this video. Because what happens is, like, occasionally doTERRA offers great BOGO, buy one, get one, and maybe coriander will be one of those. Or maybe you need to, like, bump up your LRP, and so you're like, what's an oil I don't have yet? Coriander might be one. Um, and so then the goal of this video is to give you all these different ways to use it so that then when you have coriander in your arsenal, you'll be that much better equipped. So talking about this oil, so let's give it a smell first. Um, very warm, kind of spicy, a little bit floral. Dominic thinks it's pretty it's floral. Pretty floral to me. Yeah. It makes you hungry. It makes you hungry. It so actually uh, increases your appetite. It's an oil that can increase appetite. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, so, most people know, but this is the same seed as the uh, stems and leaves of the cilantro plant. And most of the rest of the world calls the entire plant cilantro. Coriander. Uh, calls them coriander. In Mexico, they call it cilantro. So in the U.S., we mostly refer to the leaves as cilantro and then the seed as coriander. But it's the same plant. Um, it is sourced in kind of Russia and Bulgaria and probably distilled, I think, in the big, large Bulgarian distillery there. Um, and so this is the seeds, which are edible. The entire plant is edible. Mm -hmm. So I guess... Well, it's a, a dried spice. I mean, you can use it in the kitchen yeah. quite a bit. Um, you see it a lot in curries, uh, a lot in Asian cuisines. Um, we don't use it as much here. Like, it's not a spice that we use a lot, but one of the reasons that I like um, the coriander, and I like the way that doTERRA does it, is they use, it's in actually quite a few blends, so even if you're not knowing all the amazing things coriander is doing for you, like throw it in the diffuser, or use these blends and you're getting the benefits. So, I guess let's talk about the chemistry. Yeah, so... Is it similar, is it similar to cilantro, is my big question. It's the same plant, so <laughs> how similar is the great, chemistry? It's a great question, um, and no, it's not, and you wouldn't expect it to be necessarily because you know, the plant as it grows, it's going to pour different nutrients into a seed that's got to grow into a new plant than okay. what the plant itself is. Now, if you go back to and watch our cilantro video, you'll mm -hmm. know that there's aldehydes in the cilantro oil as well as alcohols. Here in the coriander seed essential oil, we actually have predominantly alcohols and then we start to pick up some monoterpenes. Okay. Um, so linalool is the most abundant alcohol and okay. most people know about linalool from lavender mm -hmm. so coriander is actually a good substitute for lavender, lavender. as yeah. far as relaxation calming sedative effects because of all that linalool yeah we actually found that it's the most similar in chemistry to lavender and so this is a great opportunity that we say dominic has a little confession about coriander i do yes you do it's it's not his favorite oil like it's okay to smell but he's not wild about it when I try it in food. Um, <laughs> but, and like that, a lot of people aren't wild about lavender, you know? And that's the whole point is you don't have to love every oil, but looking at similar chemistry. So if you don't love lavender, but you want those calming um, sedative effects, coriander would be a good one to use. Or if you don't love coriander, try lavender. That's right, so. yeah, so linalool. Yeah, so And then, then you have some monoterpenes in there. Okay. Uh, most, the monoterpenes. the most notable are alpha pinene. Okay. which is also in frankincense. Mm -hmm. It's one of the main constituents. That That's another good calming one, right? That's what we hear about frankincense in the brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really monoterpene that's really good for your, your brain, relaxation, calming, mm -hmm. grounding. And then gamma terpene, okay. just another, another monoterpene in there. Um, and then camphor. There's a ketone called camphor okay. in there as well. So you get, you get some alcohol, some monoterpene, some ketones. Overall, this just is a really good oil for calming effects, mm -hmm. for digestive support, um, and, and cooking. Yeah. And also your skin, actually, as well. It's really good for your skin. 
we kind of found this is a pretty straightforward oil. Like it didn't seem to have a lot of use. It just did a few things and it seems to do it really well and very powerfully. Yeah. Um, and I think for that reason, it is, we'll highlight all the blends here in a minute. Yeah. But it's in a lot of blends yeah. because it is just really effective at mm -hmm. what it does. Yeah. So I guess, well, the blends. So it is in the Digest Zen blend. So all things digestive. Um, just any kind of issue associated with that. So in terms of improving digestion, um, poor digestion, trouble with digestion, these are also really high anti-inflammatory oils. So any spot actually that has a little bit of inflammation, including like here, the sinuses, like Digestin is actually my favorite blend for when we're stuffy here. Yeah, it does open up um, your sinuses really quickly. And we have just added this to our kids daily routine because we're learning that as more, um, as there are more, uh, neurotransmitters in the gut than in the brain. This is the seat of emotional health. So we started using Digestin daily to just help calm things down and help it to function the way it should. So as part of that, coriander is a big part of that. And one little thing I wanna mention is about Digestin as I'm reading the whole list is that there are a lot of oils in here that we can't get as single oils. And so that's a really, really, one really great reason to use blends is you get the benefit of oils that would not normally, you know, that we can't, Available as a single yeah. oil. Um, and so some of those are like um, the aniseed, caraway, tarragon. Um, so, so, anyway, this is a great blend. Tell us about. Yeah, going blend. on with kind of digestion and specifically to coriander. So, we said in cilantro for digestion support, cilantro is good for detox, mm, for digestive yeah. detox. What's coriander seed is a little bit better at, and especially if you combine it with cinnamon. Mm -hmm is for stabilizing blood sugar levels ah. and aiding with blood, uh, sorry, sugar digestion, carbohydrate ah. digestion. So if you're somebody who, you know, maybe kind of gets those mood spikes mm -hmm. or, or low, you know, kind of your frantic high sugar or, right. you know, kind of those sugar crashes, consider using coriander and cinnamon bark together hmm. in a capsule, take that internally, um, and it will help your body hormonally uh, balance out the okay. blood sugar levels. That's yeah, so cool. a little different digestive application between yeah. cilantro and coriander. That is cool. I didn't know that. Um, as we're talking about it, it is huge in like the calming and sedative. So in that sense, it is in three blends for that. So it is actually in Motivate. And you're like, well, why is it in the, um, the encouraging, the energizing blend? Well, because a huge part of that and a huge part of the way that the oils work is that it gives you healthy energy, um, sustained energy, but coming from a calmer frame of mind and not just like, like Donald Tavi, you know, not just those sugar highs, kind of like a quick burst of energy frantic, that then crashes, frantic, frantic or, um, you know, all the energy drinks that are kind of like, wah, frantic, crazy, like it helps you operate from a calmer, steady frame of mind, but with lots of energy and encur uh, encouragement for Motivate. And in that same vein, it is in the kids' Steady Blend, which is their grounding blend, which is kind of similar to um, Balance, and it smells amazing. It does smell amazing. The kids love it. And similar to that as well, it's in the Yoga Blend, the Align Blend. Um, so again, just kind of centering, because we want to be, you know, we've got a lot of things to do. We want to be energetic, but not frantic. And aligned. And aligned. Definitely aligned. We want to be aligned. That's uh, the most there. strife in the Zelnick house is when we're not aligned. We'll save that for <laughs> not a discussion we're going to have right here. <laughs> um, moving on. What do you, oh, okay. So we're, gonna, we're talking about emotions in here and just balancing emotional health. Coriander is the oil of integrity um, and mostly kind of like a self-integrity. So sort of that, I guess if you want to be really corny, you could say, you know, be true to yourself or, you know, your true self. And I'm not quite sure exactly what that means, but in the sense of like be being honest with yourself kind of about who you are and other people and coming again from that uh, steady, balanced, integrative, is that a word? Integrative? No. no. Full okay. of integrity. Frame of mind. <laughs> integrative. That's a word. It is now. It is now. <laughs> Heard it here first. <laughs> um, what have we not covered yet? Oh, um, so this one we talked about, okay, cooking. We haven't even yes. really talked about cooking. Let's talk about cooking. So coriander is can be used topically, internally, um, and aromatically. It is also one that can be put on neat, 
Um, if you need to put it directly on your skin, that's yeah, okay. Yeah, it's a very uh, benign, low-caustic oil, similar to lavender. You know, yeah. all that little... So, you know, again, if you're having like a little digest or something, you could put like a little bit in your Bebo. Um, <laughs> it's a Sandra Boynton book, if you have little kids. <laughs> I don't know what's up with this today. <laughs> I'm energetic. I've been huffing coriander all morning. Um, but, so, cooking with it. Okay, now, it is not Dominic's favorite flavor. I enjoy it, and I like it in like salad dressings and stuff. Um, you could use it again in Asian cuisine, so it would combine with black pepper and ginger and lime. Um, it is found in a lot of spice blends, like we actually have um, a protein spice rub that, we use that has coriander seed in that. So if you're kind of looking, it goes well with a lot of the other sea spices and think curries. So like all your curries. Um, it's just one great spice in there. So when you're coming up with spice blends, kind of use let, coriander. Let's be clear, way. like I actually really like coriander seed. To me, the, the essential oil is very powerful. It's very potent it and flavorful. And I, to me, I get a lot of those floral notes of the oil, which just to me, it overpowers things. I gotcha. So if it's toned down or just cooking with the seed, you're still getting those great benefits, yeah. but in a more tolerable way. Or another way to do, because it's part of the cilantro plant, and no, they don't taste the same, but they enhance one another really well. So one of the things I really love to do is every time I'm using cilantro, um, and cilantro is very true to the herb, and it's also a very mild one, so you, like, you don't have to be really careful about using one drop, like you could use two. Um, or even three in a recipe depending on how large it is. So I almost always add one drop of coriander every time I do cilantro just to again get those benefits of it without being overwhelmed by the taste. Um, so if I'm making guacamole, I'll use my fresh lime juice, I'll use my fresh lime zest if I have it, I'll use the lime oil, I'll use cilantro herb, um, and then a couple drops of cilantro oil and one, I'll sneak one little drop of coriander oil. See, I don't even well. know what's in there. Didn't even know. <laughs> Of course, now he's going to be like looking for it, but yeah. Okay, so that's the food stuff. So talk about some of the topical stuff because this actually is kind of a neat. Um, it's the like soothe, you know. Yeah, you so use it for um, soothing and you can definitely use it tendons. for your your muscles and specifically your cartilage. Uh, so you know any body aches related to cartilage degeneration or anything like that, mm -hmm. like in a knee and elbow. Um, it's a great one after exercise to rub for a cooling, relaxing effect um, mm -hmm. in, your, in your muscles. So there's that. Um, I think you kind of already mentioned it's good for your complexion. No, we didn't mention that one. So um, I feel like we're kind of getting repetitive. Like a lot of these oils are just good for a lot of things, which is really freeing. Like you don't have to find the exact right one, like find what works for you. But um, coriander is great for the skin and it's not one that I use. It is in some of, um, again, one of the nice things about the doTERRA Skin care is that they kind of incorporate a lot of those oils specifically in there. But I have, after we had Copaiba last week, I took my Meluca Touch and I, so I had to refill it, so I added more of the Meluca. I added, um, what was it now? I can't remember. Copaiba and cedar wood. And when we get some more blue tans, I'm going to add some of that. But coriander would be a great one for skin. And actually, what I'm going to do is add this one to my toner. So I make a toner that's half apple cider vinegar, half water. And, or maybe a little bit less, maybe like a third apple cider vinegar and two thirds water. And then I add some Meluca in there or whatever oil is you want. So I'm going to add a couple drops of coriander in that and spray. Yeah. Spray. And if you, if you make your own deodorant, DIY deodorant, coriander is a great one to add to that. Cause not only for your, your underarm skin, it helps eliminate body odor. Ah, -ha. So it's a good one for body odor control. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Bonus. Okay, um, we have talked about that, we've talked about the emotional, is there anything else we need to cover? No, um, that's, that's really Any other cool little, I mean it does other good stuff, like you know, we talked about the blood sugar, um, itchy skin, we talked about the joint pain, um, oh the blending, the blending notes. Um, so this is going to be one of your middle notes, so this is going to take up a lot of your blend. Um, it goes well with peppermint. We talked about it, it kind of goes well with those same Asian spices, or you could create like a spice blend if you're wanting your kitchen to smell amazing. Pull in like some, you know, some cardamom and um, some cinnamon and Grand. I know you think I'm, I don't know, yeah. if you want your kitchen to smell like spices. Um, it goes well, I think I mentioned peppermint. Oh, I, ha I saw a neat diffuse recipe to say to try coriander, 
peppermint and balance. And that is one I've never tried. So I'm gonna try that one. And yeah, it's kind of woodsy, spicy, middle notes. I think we covered it. Yeah. I feel like this one, yeah, this one's just pretty straightforward. Um, so if there's anything, yeah, you, you yeah. have used coriander for that we did not highlight, definitely comment, share those with other people in the comments. Um, please like, please subscribe, please follow our channel. We are finally going to round out the seas with cypress. cypress which there's might be lot one of the woods of we use seas. A lot of seas. And then we can move past the seas. So yeah, cypress. And again, any questions, there's always that link in the description if you've got any questions or want to know more about coriander or share your recipes. Like this is one that, you know, if we can, if we can keep sneaking them into recipes so that Dominic doesn't notice. Okay. Bye, all. <laughs> Thanks.